Hey guys, I am Wizarding World of Harry Potter YouTuber Victoria McLean and welcome to my The Fan Corner Creations channel today! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm in a funny mood, right? It's getting late, right? And it's the day before I'm due to go to London. I'm filming this. We're leaving tomorrow for London, me and Harry, because we're going to the Harry Potter studios for Hogwarts in the snow. I've lost count how many times they've been, but every time I go, it is just magical. But the best part about this filming is, is inside this box is something, if I'm right in thinking, something for my costume for this weekend. So if you'd like to see the contents of this Dolores Umbridge slash Death Eater box, then keep on watching. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then make sure with my wobbly hand <laughs> that you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the all important notification bell as well. Let's get started. So today I'm using an incredibly short wand to go with the incredibly short person who is Dolores Jane, is it Dolores Jane Umbridge? So we have, or is that Hermione Jean? No, Jean is mine. It's Dolores Jane Umbridge, is that right? I'm got, I, I've got, I like I think right so I'm using her noble collection wand that actually comes on a very pink stand with a big bow so what I like about this one is there is a pink crystally kind of stone in the center but what do I say I'm gonna put it back before I break it so today is a very different video um it is all about, apart from one thing, Dolores Umbridge. Now, nobody in the history of the Wizarding World that I'm aware of has done a purely Dolores Umbridge box. So she is someone we love to hate, isn't she? She's one of my love to hate favourite characters. I think it's more because of the story that's going on kind of behind the scenes, not so much with Dolores herself, but more like her costumes. She was such a fantastic kind of portrayal of evil. She was on, I think, on par with Fenrir Greyback um, because Fenrir liked to bite children and turn them when they were young, um, which is horrible. That's how I think Remus Lupin became a werewolf is he was turned obviously when he was younger. So, and that's obviously where the Marauders come from. But Dolores Umbridge is such a an evil character. But Ramel, uh, Imelda Staunton plays her incredibly well. Hate the character, love the actor. Now, if you don't know about Dolores Umbridge, with her costumes, now I've done many chats about this, especially with other people, because Maria, Maria York, my friend, and Sandy Langdon, who love, both love, Dolores Umbridge in a way where you hate her because of what she does but love the character as in how well she was done and the colours, the pinks, the bright pinks. Now did you know when you watch Order of the Phoenix next time keep looking at Dolores's costume because in the beginning of the films when we first get into, uh, introduced to her, her costumes are maybe quite a little, they're obviously pink but they're not outrageously pink they're like almost like a Barbie pink maybe pastel pink but then the further along you go in the film you get introduced to her real pure evil self and her costumes become incredibly pink and fluffy but if you ever go to the studios the wizarding the Warner Brothers studios have a look at her costume closely because on the buttons are little skulls so I think if you're like not 100% sure if she's evil just have a look at the buttons okay but her costumes were so outlandish in the films and if I rightly remember the rug she has in her office was one of the most expensive props to have made and it cost £26,000 but it, it was obviously made for that room and for that character so I'd love to know where that rug is today. So first 
of all, Sophie has sent to me this box for free from the Forgotten Corner, so thank you very much, Hilly. I am going to open it with my trusty knife now. Now, Sophie does like to try and reuse items, so she recycles, as in the packaging, and I think that's very, very noble. So the first thing I'm introduced to is some bright pink tissue paper. I wonder who that could represent, so let's, let's get into it. You ready? <laughs> I love her. Sophie does a lot of paper items and we all love paper replicas. So I can see a load of paper replicas there. Oh, wow. Bless. Oh, and she's given me a clipboard as well. You've done it all properly, and you say? Oh, bless you. Look at that. Okay, so we have, bless her, she has done this clipboard here of lovely Dolores Umbridge items. Oh my goodness, it is an actual clipboard like she has when she's marking everything down. She's measuring Professor Flitwick. When I think about those scenes, all I can think of them is the music. <laughs> I just love it. She's so inherently evil. Without a freaking Horcrux, you know, she's evil. So bless Sophie, she's got copy of letter to save you opening the original letter. So she's wonderful for that, so I can let you guys know what that is now. Sophie, I don't know if I need to like redo my Dolores Umbridge shelf right now because uh, I think I'm going to have to start putting these things on the Dolores Umbridge shelf. So this is the letter that Sophie is on about, Victoria McLean, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So that is the delightful letter with a beautiful pink ribbon on pink paper. And then we have a fantastic wax seal with the U inside for Umbridge. So I am going to put that down and I'm going to read you the letter on the clipboard, okay? So put that to one side. Sign and return this list to my office. Many thanks, Dolores Jane Umbridge. I thought it was Jane, woohoo! Right, so it says, dear, Victoria McLean. I love the left, the, the piece of paper with the cat on the top. This is so wicked. I feel like I should have worn bright pink lipstick. I am very pleased to inform you that you have been selected to become a member of the Inquisitorial Squad. I should have worn the pin, shouldn't I? Um, in this letter, you will find your silver pin. Ooh! Please wear this pin with pride as you are now a very important part of the future of Hogwarts. Being an, uh, uh, an inquisitorial member, you will be required to complete the following tasks every day. Reading over other students' owl posts and informing me of any suspicions. How bad is that? Keeping Hogwarts pre pre uh, prefects on the right path to help with this task, you do have the power to dock house points off all students. How is that allowed? Cow! help repress any rebel, uh, rebellious activities to um, of fellow students who have disagreed with the ministry and claim that he who shall not be named has returned report back to my office at the end of every school day don't forget all your hard work will earn you extra credit and other privileges i am sure we're going to be very good friends dolores jane umbridge 6th of april 1996 that is fantastic i love how you do these isn't that amazing absolutely and then we have another piece of paper that's the in Inquisitorial Squad, Dolores Umbridge, High Inquisitor, Argus Filch, of course, Draco Malfoy, leader in brackets, Pansy Parkinson, Maleficent, Millicent Bulstrode, Vincent Crabb, Gregory Goyle, Graham Montague, Pius Warrington. So those are the people who are members of the Inquisitorial Squad. Now, I love underneath, we have a copy of the uh, the thing that she's marking as well, and she goes round. This is it here. 
How fantastic is that? And I love, I love that we have a cat on the top there as well. Sandy, I bet you've loved having this box and um, as referred to in decree number 189 the, since of 1997 1975 formerly known to be the minister ministerial management of magical mayhem act name age star sign address occupation magic rune regis uh, registration how long have you been in this post who is responsible for appointing you why did you decide to become a teacher what is your previous experience in teaching what do you consider yourself at risk uh, a risk taker give me an example to back up your answer if a student said he or she thought you were the worst teacher he or she had ever had what would you say Oh my god, there's more! That's brilliant! If if I was the Minister of Magic and Magical Education and we were setting goals for next year, what would you be what would that be? Do you agree or disagree with the current methods of teaching at this school? Some people say you should demand respect. Do you agree or disagree? How would you rank these for importance? and why planning knowledge attendance uh, calmness tell me a little about your favorite symbol what do you consider to be your strengths as a teacher what will you be doing in five years do you feel angry towards your students and then we have another one behavioral assessment in class tick box only agility technique Accuracy, wand, spells, posture, hexing, final comments down the bottom there. How to fill in this form. Take quill, ensuring feathers are lined up to the ministry standard. Use magical um, regulations. Link, do not bend. That is amazing, Sophie. I love that. Oh my god, that is the first item and it's like, oh my god. Okay, so we have a packet. Oh, it looks like a plate. It looks like a plate. Hang on. Right, okay, you ready? We got oh, <laughs> we've got a plate. We had a plate um a couple of boxes ago, didn't we? That was so brilliant. Right. She Sophie is incredibly original everything she does is no nobody's done it that's what i love about sophie's work nobody's done it and so that is why i absolutely love about her stuff because she's so fantastic and so as i say original and unique right are you ready i don't know which way i'm looking at it that way i can see a cat oh wow we have a little kitten with her awful quill and it says i must not tell lies that is fantastic i'm gonna have to put new plates up on my shelf that is brilliant look at that isn't that fantastic i love that so 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 much now with sophie a lot of what she does when the boxes are sold i think these are actually sold out she will sell items separately um, afterwards so if you really want something then make sure that you keep an eye out so we have another item i've just noticed that the item that gives away my uh my costume for the weekend is in the bottom i can't wait so we oh right okay i'm sorry i've already opened i've opened it already okay so we have no way is this a cup and saucer set <gasps> how people would die for this right okay so we have we have hair clips the Niffler's pouch. Oh my god. We have a little hair clip of a cat. Right, that's going on my hair now, that is. Oh my god. That is absolutely. Where can I put it? I'm gonna put it there. Okay. So we've got a little cat there, a little cat clip. I love it. Oh my god, this is so brilliant. So we have another item. Wear this pin with pride. Welcome to the Inquisitorial Squad. So we have a pin of the letter I for inquisitorial squad. That is amazing, I love that. We have an item then wrapped up that I am very carefully going to get into. Oh, this box is amazing. It's about time someone did an umbrage box. Absolutely. Right, okay, so. The slipping out this one, so I'm not sure what it is. Oh my God, just know it's what this is. 
tape. <laughs> when she measures Professor Flitwick. That is so brilliant. Oh my God. I love that when she goes down like that and picks it back up again. That is genius. Oh my God, my cheeks hurt. Right, okay, so we've got, I've been really excited to get into this, I'm sorry. We have a, a cup. The house a cup. We have a cup and it's covered in cats. I was really hoping she would include a cup and saucer set with this because it's it's so it's so her isn't it <gasps> oh my god so this is amazing <laughs> oh my god you are so gonna love this i've got to put this on my shelf as soon as possible okay 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 so here's the set right here's the set you're gonna love what goes with it so we got a lovely cat tea set right and then, this is the best bit. <laughs> this is so wicked. Oh my God. We have a spoon that says, I must not tell lies. It's got a little pink bow and a little cat job on the end of it. Oh my life, Sophie. You have outdone yourself. This is amazing. That is absolutely freaking amazing. Look at that. So you can stir your tea with your I must not tell lie spoon. And then it just, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my God. Thank you so much for sending me this box. Oh my God. I don't know how you're going to beat this box next time, honey. Honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't even want to try, okay? But I just, how are you going to beat it? You are so good at what you do. Okay, so we now have, it looks like a magical educational decree poster. So let's have a look. You guys are going to see it first. Proclamation. What does this say? Proclamation Educational Decree number 98. Those wishing to join the Inquisitorial Squad Inquisitorial Squad for extra credit may sign up in the High Inquisitor's office. That is fantastic. I love this. I've actually got a stunning proclamation box that uh, Janice's friend made for me. And uh, I've got one in there. That is absolutely fantastic. I love that. This is brilliant. Oh my God, honey, you are so good at what you do. Never, ever give up, all right? Okay, so are you ready? Oh no, there's one more thing. Oh my God. All right, so are you ready now to see what I'm, to get the hint of what I'm going as? She's done this especially for me. Thank God it's not too big either. Oh my God, what's that? <gasps> that is so cool is that for me to, to use oh my god she's also included a little pocket mirror to make sure that i am a hundred percent on point when i go right so you've got a death eater deathly hallows so death eater you've got a bellatrix the strange mask there okay and it uh, looks like the um death eater symbol up there and then you'll see my prop she's made me for the weekend I'm not looking forward to my heels because they are going to hurt, but I'm really looking forward to going. I've never gone to the studios as this person before. So this is a metal plaque. How fantastic is that? It's an Azkaban prisoner metal plaque. Can you guess who I'm going as? You've got to write it in the comments. Who am I going as? <laughs> Oh my God, I can't wait. I'm so excited. The costume is a little bit big, uh, but with a corset, I'm fine. So I'm good. And the shoes, I haven't broken them in. I haven't had time to break them in, but my God, those shoes were made for this costume, even though they're from a completely different shop. Um, I'm going as Bellatrix Lestrange. Um, and I'm even gonna have black teeth as well, which is so bizarre, because what you do is when you do it, you use charcoal. You can buy it to whiten your teeth. And I've put a little tiny pot of it. I need to take a bum bag or something and to put it in there. So if I do photographs and stuff, I can blacken my teeth out. 
but uh, yeah, we're all going dressed up. Even Monica's dressing up, bless her, because she's coming as well. Harry's dressing up as well. So, Sophie, thank you so much for doing this. This is brilliant. I cannot wait to use it. And thank you for not making it too big. So it'll fit in my bag perfectly. I don't know what the security is going to be like when I go and they look at my bag and see some black powder. <laughs> I'm not taking the knife though, the dagger, because I know that's probably going to be a big no-no. Um, otherwise, I would have. I would have taken her dagger. But of course, I'm taking her wand. And I have a wand holster as well on my corset. So, yeah. Um, oh, I'm so excited to go. I haven't been back to the studio for so long. I really miss it. Uh, Janice is already at Maria's now. so And I'm, I'm not going to Maria's this time, even though I'd love to. Because I've got Harry with me. There's not enough room for all of us. So me and Harry are staying with Monica, which is really nice because I don't get to see her very often. And so we love you to spend time with her. And of course, she's coming to the studios as well. So uh, yeah, anyway, anyway, anyway. So all excited. Go to Bellatrix Lestrange. So watch out for all those pictures on social media. Now we have the Wizards checklist. Okay, we have a little piece of paper with the Wizards checklist on. So are you ready to hear this? Hello and welcome to the Umbridge box. If you enjoy this box, there is going to be a second Umbridge box, March 2022. <laughs> wow, okay, so contents, cup and teaspoon. I so love that so much. Second, tape measure. That was such a genius idea. Cat clipboard. Freaking love the cat clipboard. Uh, one form, so three sets of forms. Personal letter for Umbridge. Thank you so much. I got it. You know, thank you so much for sending me one that wasn't open, as that was open as well. So a copy off letter to save you opening the original. Thank you so much. One pin. Members of the Inquisitorial Squad who uh, wore a tiny silver eye on their robes. Is that in the books? Oh god, my nose is so itchy. Uh, one plate, which is brilliant. That's two now you've done. I'm going to have to display them. One squad army list. Please sign and return to Professor Umbridge. I love that. It's so brilliant. One proclamation and one hair clip. I, um, as always, a big heartfelt thank you for being part of the Forgotten Corner. Never feel forgotten. Sophie, this is amazing. Your boxes are getting better every single time. I love your boxes and I think so many people out there really love them too. So hurry up and finish the website because we want to go there and order all this stuff, okay? Um, and I'm only down the road so if you need any help, you know I can come up. But oh my god, this has been amazing. Final thoughts. My final thoughts of this box. I think the first thing is individuality. It's uniqueness. No one has done an Umbridge box that I am aware of. A subscription box like Geek Gear or Loot Crate or anyone, no one's done an Umbridge box. So for me to see this is just incredible. When she advertised it, I was like, please tell me you're sending me one. Please tell me you're sending one. I said, yes, yeah, yeah, of course I'm sending you one, blah, 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 blah. Because I'm the only person that does her own boxings. But it was just really, really kind of, you know, please send me one. Because I, I really love Umbridge, uh, the whole kind of, she's evil, but you love to hate her. The first thing, obviously, is individuality. It's uniqueness. The second thing, I think, is because it's pink. And her iconic colour is pink pink. She is incredibly colourful. I think my favourite items in this box have got to be, and it's a bit, a bit of a strange one actually, I think my favourite item has got to be this because you've included the clipboard. It sounds really stupid but you have included the clipboard. You've done something that I don't know anyone else that's done, you know. This is incredible and it's got the cat plate on the back. This is remarkable. I love how you've got this ministry kind of um, que a questionnaire because in the films they went to such lengths to do individual items. There was what something like a thousand uh, Quidditch World Cup programs printed and yet you only get a fraction of a second glimpse of one. Um, there's a cupboard in the uh, Gryffindor common room that's full of books they made for the film and yet the cupboard was always remained closed. You see Dolores Umbridge with this and you, you don't see what's on it, you know? And I think with Sophie, with the Forgotten Corner, she gives us that extra window into the films. And it being the 20th anniversary as well, 
it just makes it kind of, she makes items extra special. She is incredible. She's so talented. And I can't wait to see what else she can produce because things like this, things like the letters, I love, I freaking love the spoon. That is amazing. She is somebody that I think she doesn't get enough credit for what she does. And Sophie, she's a huge Disney fan and she's a huge Harry Potter fan. And she really does look into the things that people don't even think about. I would never have even thought of including that. You know, oh my God. So this is like, wow. So yeah, I just, she blows me away every single time and I can't, I can't stress how incredibly unique she is. So I say this, I think, I say, I think I've said this almost every single time, Sophie. You are amazing at what you do. You are so freaking unique and you, you love chaos. I know that you do, you love your chaos. You're just somebody who I think the world needed right now because it's quite hard for subscription boxes to be unique at the moment, to be individual at the moment. A lot of companies are producing the same stuff all the time. And unfortunately that's what happens and that can't be helped. But you, and Cauldron Crate, I've got to be honest, and Mr. Magic, but you are absolutely knocking it way out of the park. And you're doing a fantastic job. So please, please, please keep it up because more people want your stuff. All right, yeah, got it, yeah, 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 good, yeah, yeah, we're all right, yeah, 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 good. But this is amazing, and I think you've done a fantastic job, Penny, you really have. So, let me know in the comments below what has been your favourite item in this box. Would you like to get this box? Are you going to be looking out for her items that she sells separately? I'd love to know in the comments below. Until next time, take care. I love you all and I will speak to you very, very soon. check out more of my content, take a look at this video right here or this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.